潮玩飞镖 ，All About Ducks。各位聽眾 ，actually， 我哋又嚟到呢個潮玩飛鏢嘅節目啦。啊，啊，我哋今日嘅主持係我啦 ，Robert， 誒，仲有兩個飛鏢專家喎。今晚有誒阿邦邦啦，就係 James Bond 啦，啊，飛鏢 James Bond 啦，仲有誒 Peter Scott 啦，亦都係我哋另一位誒駐場教師啦。咁我哋咧就會誒訪問今日嘅嘉賓叫 Jeff Smith 誒，響紐賓斯維省嘅 New Brunswick 嘅。咁啊，我希望誒你學佢可以俾到我哋一啲新嘅誒資料啊，新嘅經歷啊。OK， 嗱，咁而家我哋就誒去去誒呢個英文先。OK， 誒、uh, ，Welcome to our show,、uh, ladies and gentlemen.、Uh, this is、uh, your host Robert, and this is your show、uh, All About Dots. And、uh, tonight we have The、um, regular、uh, host here,、uh, Bong James Bond, and also、uh, another、uh, co-host uh, here,、uh, Peter Scott, as everybody knows. And、uh, our guest today is、uh, Jeff Smith, and he's from New Brunswick. So let's say hello to Jeff. Hello,、uh, Jeff. Peter Scott here, Jeff. Hello, and welcome to All About Darts. And thank you for making yourself available. I appreciate you having me. Good evening,、uh, Jeff. This is Bong James Bong of Darts. Okay.、Uh, uh, One、Pete、of the things that、uh, I would like to ask right off the bat is, Jeff,、uh, why do they call you the Silencer?、Ooh. Yeah, it, it's actually it goes back to、uh, 2008. I played the Canadian National Championships in Winnipeg, and a good friend of mine who was on the PDC tour is Ken McNeil.、Uh, he kind of dubbed me that when I won the national championship. Just basically, nobody seen me coming, and and I was I was pretty effective on how I was taking people out.、So. Isn't that wonderful? Doesn't that make you feel good? Yeah, it's it's always good to have some friends, and and definitely have、uh, have backing in the sport for sure. Now, there's a few championships. I think for our readers' interest to know, you know, the quality of the person that、uh, they're listening to. To my knowledge, you won five New Brunswick、uh, singles championships yourself, and. You've also、uh, played in England, which is unusual、uh, for our guests. And also, I think you've been invited back、uh, next year. So, how about just going over your championships briefly? Yeah, I, actually, I started off as a youth player.、Uh, got involved in the New Brunswick or the NDFC program, and, and played for Team New Brunswick for, I believe, five years, back from the time I was 14 right up until I was 19. And、uh, it just kind of evolved from there. I started playing in the adult ranks and、uh, started doing well at tournaments, and decided I'd give it a give it a try there. And before you knew it, I'd qualified for Team Canada as a 19-year-old to play in the in the、uh, World Masters. And and like I say, I, I've been over there several times now, based just、uh, just from where I began as a youth.、Uh, can I、uh, cut in for a minute and ask,、uh, uh, like I did with the last interview?、Uh, Uh, you are a multi-championship、uh, uh, person. So, when was the first and last time you win in New Brunswick single championships? You have five of them. So, when was the earliest one? When was the last one? That's what I really want to know. Yeah, if, if you started off, it would be actually back in 1990 as a youth player.、Uh, won my first one as an adult in 1996.、Uh, obviously, I took a couple of years here and there that I didn't play. So, it, the numbers could have been higher if I had a, if I had stayed with playing. I just had different.、Uh, Different goals, I guess, at that time. Like I say, I played PDC darts and stuff. I didn't have really the time to play it, but、uh, it was good to be back this year and win it again. So you actually,、uh, the last time you won it is 2015, then? Yes, I am the current New Brunswick champion. Wow, that's good.、Uh, we have two champions、uh, in a row in the last、uh, week or two. Okay,、uh, let me just、um, brief our other audience for a second, and we'll cut right back. Go、uh, away.、Uh, 誒、uh, 聽眾啊、uh, ，我哋今日嘅嘉賓就係 Jeff Smith， 佢係誒五次紐賓直省嘅誒單打嘅冠軍啊！咁誒飛鏢冠軍，佢又誒誒、uh, uh, 自從佢好細個，十四歲至十九年、十九歲嘅時候係一個青年嘅嘅嘅誒會員嚟玩之後，一九九零年第一次贏啦，咁一九九六年至到一到而家最後一次係二零一五年，佢都係。誒紐賓雪佢省嘅嘅冠軍嚟嘅，咁誒咁佢亦都有花名叫做 Silence， 即係咧誒即係一個話你可以話一個係滅聲器啊嚇
其實佢呢個發明點嚟咧？二零八年嘅時候，佢突然間出其不意咁響呢個温尼帕嘅全國大賽嗰度贏咗，咁其中一個朋友就同佢改咗呢個名嘅，即係話佢令到人哋冇聲出咁嘅意思多過。即係話佢，即係即係好似個所謂我哋中國人講嘅，即係無聲狗嚟嚇。咁啊，我諗我聽過佢話咁多嘢，我諗佢又話去到英國，咁我哋都問下佢究竟係咪喺英國誒、呃、參加大賽。誒、um, ，Yeah, maybe I will just、uh, also follow up、uh, on the fact that you've been、uh, uh, Peter said you've been、uh, to England. So is that participating on behalf of、uh, Canada, representing Canada, or is it something else? Yeah, I, I've actually represented Canada at the World Masters four times now.、Uh, the most recent one here was back in October. Went to Hull, England, and the, I basically I placed or lost out, I guess, the match to make the stage at the World Masters. But I also played the Lakeside qualifier, which has basically 400 players in that、uh, in that qualifier from all over the world, and they awarded four spots into the Lakeside World Championships. And that's, that's how I get in through there. So、uh, four times champ,、uh, four times Canadian champion, right? Is that correct? No, I've, I've, no, I've only won the national championship once out of the、uh, the attempts that I've done it. But it, any time that you finished in the top top five, you automatically get a spot on Team Canada. Oh, okay. Oh, so actually, Team Canada has how many、uh, spots? Then、uh, there's so many provinces, right? Oh,、yeah. top five. That would be top five of the national championship. That's correct. Oh, okay. I got you now. Okay,、uh, back to Peter for a little bit.、Uh. Okay,、uh, lead us on a little bit、uh, from、uh, practicing as a youth and then getting.、Uh, how do you practice as a, a youth player, a beginner player? Yeah, my my grandfather is a funny story. He got me into the into the darts as a as a young player, probably when I was ten or eleven years old. But he wouldn't allow me to go to the the provincial championships or the or any competition of any kind until I learned my breakdowns properly. And once、uh, once he was confident that I did, he allowed me to、uh, to participate. And obviously, I won that first very first year that I played. So it's、uh, it's certainly if if you're going to be a, a new player starting out and, and in the five hundred one game, you definitely want to learn your your breakdowns and your finishes. I find that the soft tip darts seem to miss that point, and it gives the、uh, steel tip darts the the player an edge. Yeah, I, I personally have yet to play a soft tip tournament.、Uh, I am going to come up in August to to Toronto and try the darts live event, I believe. But、mm-hmm. like I say, I, I, from what I see in the soft tip, it seems that you push a button and it does most of the math for you.、So. It does. Yeah. OK， 誒、um, 各位誒、uh, 觀眾誒、uh, 聽眾誒， uh, 我哋其實呢個節目嘅嚇，即係等翻上 YouTube 嘅，所以都有啲觀眾嘅嚇，即係誒聽眾。誒、uh, 我哋啱講緊咩問題咧？我哋講緊就係話誒，其實呢位嘉賓咧，佢係誒有四次去過加拿大代表啊，係、uh, 加拿大最後誒、uh, 五強嘅。咁嗰啲咧，冚唪唥都去到呢個世界賽嗰度有比賽。咁亦都係佢誒講翻起佢以前佢阿阿爺誒十歲至十一歲嗰陣時啊，俾專別嘅訓練佢，特別嘅訓練佢。咁啊，然之後先放佢出嚟比賽，佢結果一出嚟就一鳴驚人啦。啊，作為一個青年人，咁誒佢亦都討論到究竟而家呢啲誒我哋啲尖飛鏢同埋呢啲掘飛鏢啊，誒誒遠嘅飛鏢。嘅分別啦、啊、就係話、呃、太過容易啦。而家用機嘅同你計曬分啦，就係誒冇咗嗰種咁嘅、呃、特別嘅需求同埋特別嘅、呃、刺激啦。咁誒，呀 ，that's a that's all very、um, interesting、um, part about the soft、um, and、uh, and、uh, and the hard tips. And uh, so um, Peter, you want to another question here? Yeah, I、uh, I understand that you not only have played in England and your your home province, New Brunswick, but also have won a few tournaments down in the states. And what I'm leading into is that later on in the in the show, I'm going to ask you to compare the darts in USA and the darts in Canada and the darts in England、uh, to give us your view on it, because you're one of the very few players that have actually played in all three、uh, three areas and、uh, won. Tournaments. Yeah, definitely. The、uh, the trips, like I say, everything that I've done as a player, it's basically to adapt or evolve my game to、uh, to get to the higher levels. 
and like I say, I, it, it's, there's nothing better than experience on a dart board, and, and to put yourself in those situations, obviously, it's going to make you better as a player. Okay, so um, if you say that, then uh, it's uh, it's obvious that uh, uh, meeting all of these people, like uh, through the interviews, we have been talking to a lot of people about um, about uh, playing uh, darts uh, at different levels, and uh, we just previously discussed about uh, oh, is it better to stay with the clubs all the time and then go to occasional tournament as opposed to people going to tournaments all of the time? Are you one of those that uh, go to tournaments uh, more than you spend with time with the club kind of person anymore at that level? Yes, yes, I do. I do play on a city league team where we have we have ten players on our team, and we we meet basically every Tuesday or Wednesday night. Play against other teams in the league, and I definitely enjoy it. But like I say, as, as far as if you want to bring your game to that next level, you have to put yourself in in a stronger competition, and that's that's basically why I get out. I do play tour- tournaments just as often as I would league, probably more. But okay, but I, I do enjoy them both. Okay, well, um, we're almost getting to the end of the first segment, so let me cut over to the other side and uh, finish it off, and uh, we'll come back and ask more questions. It's like what I'm going to do with Iowa. Or they hear you, um, anyway, uh, Gabin, uh, Kuyo one, how many guy, you hung in guy, and God, I am. Come, um, I guess I could do a, uh, you go host you, get the big case, yeah, my Kuyo, how you hung, Tung, Samo, Goka, do your whole door, Fabio, come be toy. 咁究竟佢誒而家咁嘅情形係誒誒究竟，因為我哋以前講過，究竟係誒成日去比賽好啊，定話喺個喺個會嗰度浸好咧？咁佢都係話覺得係誒比賽好嘅，比賽你可以認識到更多人，可以玩到更多嘢。好啦，我哋啲環節又完咗少少，我哋再等一等，再同大家再見面。华语电台着数多，一级对手冇错过。Canadian Chinese Radio Jet Talk Special， 飞镖运动除强身健体之余，仲可训练头脑，又可认识新朋友。由 Multicultural Dart Association 主办嘅飞镖训练班，现已接受报名。响遇国际嘅 Peter Scott 同飞镖詹士邦亲自教导，五堂课程，包用具，只需五十蚊。报名及查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。Learn to play darts with Peter Scott and James Bong Faldas at Multicultural Darts Association. Five sessions, equipment included, only fifty dollars. Please call four one six four nine six nine six three three for further details. 一同他申请及查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。华语电台，着数多，一七四九，冇错过。潮玩飞镖 ，All about darts。Okay, welcome back to the second segment of our show,、uh, All About Darts. I'm your host,、uh, Robert Mark, and、uh, with me again is、uh, host.、Uh, A、bond, James Bond、uh, of Darts, and、um, another great coach here,、uh, Peter Scott, and with us is、uh, Jeff Smith, our guest from New Brunswick. So、uh, let's continue this segment in a minute uh, with. Uh, uh, let's continue now with、uh, Peter. Peter asks.、Uh, bond,、question. I think、uh, one has got a couple of questions you would like to ask. Okay, Bond. Jeff, as a dart player, I think you are the first dart player to be bestowed.、Uh, Certificate of re-、uh, recognition from the、uh, member of Legislative Assembly in、uh, Hampton Riding, New Brunswick. Can you tell something about this to all our listeners, please? Yes, actually, it was the、uh, Honorable Gary Crosman from the Hampton Riding. He, he came out to my place of employment and、uh, presented me with a certificate of achievement, basically for my my doings over at the World Championships. Which was it's great because the、uh, the government to this point really doesn't have much to do with darts in our in our area for sure. I know it does in some of the other provinces, but、uh, it's definitely a great step and a, and a very good、uh, very good thing for darts here in New Brunswick. Hmm. Well, congratulations, Jeff. Congratulations, Jeff.、Yeah. That's great. 
Well, I just want to ask the question, not just the recognition, is there any, um, any funding uh, as a result of that yet, uh, maybe? Uh, not, not via the government system, that's, that's for sure. Like I say, it's, it's going to take a process to, to, get it, to, to get it moving. I know it does in other provinces like uh, Alberta and whatnot. But uh, hopefully, with, with moves like this, hopefully it will be positive in the future. Okay, okay, so let go. 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 Go yeah, Peter, the, uh, the readers are wondering, I'm sorry, the listeners are wondering uh, if you're a full-time dart player. Uh, not at this point, like I say, I do... Uh, you, you have a job person. on the side? No, I, I do actually have a full-time job before, and darts is kind of my part-time. My goodness I, me, you got a whole... you got a handful there to... Uh, you cannot do much more besides work and play darts. That's pretty much the size of it. It's, it's a good thing my family are as forgiving as they are, because it, uh, it definitely takes a lot out of, out of doing both, that's for sure. That's right. You need uh, the backing of a, of a family and the support. Tell me, are you sponsored by anybody? Yeah, I am sponsored by uh, Cosmo Darts out of Japan. Uh, yeah. They make some fantastic products over there. They mm-hmm. uh, make my barrel as well as my signature flight. Uh-huh. And uh, also sponsored by PlayDarts.ca, which is a Canadian distributor for Cosmo as well over here out of Toronto. Yeah. And uh, like I say, and the other one is, is uh, Dart Shirts there that I, I supplied by Projoy. And they make some fantastic uh, product as well. Okay, um, 飛鏢公司啦,佢本地代理啦,有啲做三啦,冚冷都支持佢。咁呢個都似乎幾好。Yeah, my comment is that um, you know, uh, every time we talk to people about support, they all seem to have support because I, I begin to think that if you don't have support, you won't be on this program anyways because <laughs> because you wouldn't last long in the family, right? Well, I don't yeah, think yeah. you could pay for the trips. It's uh, it's uh, the, the traveling and the accommodation which really uh, which really kills a dark player, and uh, that is one choice you have to make somewhere in your early life, whether you're going to be a professional dark player or you're going to uh, to, to focus on work. Yeah, but I'm beginning to see that uh, you really got to have something to show before the sponsors will approach you. I mean, this is just something I observe from the guests that I'm meeting over the last uh, months, you know, because unless you really, really be on the up and up, uh, it's difficult to attract sponsors, and our, our, our last interview uh, to explore that whole lot. So, um, anyways, uh, who uh, want to ask the question? Uh, how did you get your sponsorship, uh, Jeff? Yeah, I was recommended to Cosmo by the uh, by Paul LeBlanc uh, with the Toronto Darts CA, yeah. and he uh, he just basically put my name forward. Uh, basically, had been winning some tournaments, obviously all throughout Canada as well as the Canadian Championships, some in the U.S. So they uh, they did offer me a product sponsorship at that time to become a test player for them, and obviously as I I went on and earned a PDC Tour card for two years and and whatnot. So they've definitely come aboard and helped me out financially as well. Uh, one thing that uh, maybe we could have learned from the last interview and from what I gather you haven't uh, done it as well at this point is that uh, maybe the other approach would be uh, self-promotion. Not only do you win, you get recognition. Um, the last uh, interview person we have in States uh, who had uh, four championships, uh, he talked about how he uh, used to have his own uh, website to promote himself that further gets more sponsorships. Yeah, I do have a website as well. It's, it's all part of the, uh, 
the scenario. You got to promote yourself, but you have to also have to give your your sponsors a chance to be promoted as well. So, I uh, my my website is thesilencer170.com. So, like I say, say that again, uh, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, it's the, the silencer 170. Oh, dot silencer. Uh, the the silencer. Yeah. yeah. Is D T H E or Yeah T H E. Oh D silencer one word one seventy dot com. You got it, yep. Okay, so what does the one seventy stand for? I like like I say, if I don't know if you followed any of my matches when I was in England, but uh, my game usually revolves revolves around the finishing. Oh. So a lot of a lot of people will put the one eighty in their in their title or email addresses, but uh, I always ah, use the one seventy. I should have figured that out. <laughs> okay. Uh, 其實咧，我哋講到就係話呢個誒贊助商嘅問題。我哋呢位嘉賓咧，佢亦都有唔少嘅贊助商，佢亦都係自己咁樣不斷咁樣向外做一啲嘢去表揚佢自己嘅功績。咁原來佢有一個，佢自己亦都有一個 website 嘅，叫做 D Silencer， 即係一個字 T H E S I S I L E N C R 一七零。dot com， 咁或者大家有機會嘅去睇睇，睇下佢究竟點樣成功化啦，或者佢嗰、那個誒、呃、網址有咩特別之處啦。OK， so、um, I guess next thing、uh, would be Peter。We're looking at you sponsoring a number of younger players and that,、uh, winning some championships with them. First of all, what is most critical for my listeners to to know, to know when they're a young player just getting introduced to darts? What should they do? Yeah, it's it's basically all the game. It comes down to how you handle yourself. You know what I mean. The first first thing you can do, as far as if you want to get better as a player, is jump on the scoreboard. You know what I mean. That was that was definitely key in my my learning the game. And、uh, basically, be a good sport. Always leave the game with a handshake, and、uh, basically put the time in and practice. Okay, who should they learn from? It's、uh, we all had our our.、Uh, Are persons that we we like to follow in darts. I, I used to watch the Dennis Priestleys and the Bob Andersons. You know what I mean? There's with today's technology. There's always there's always darts available to be watched online, the TV, computer, everything else. You, you'll learn a lot from those players. Well, let me、uh, jump in for a minute.、Uh, I always、uh, is curious about this sort of thing because、uh, depending on kind of sports you have,、uh, even in fishing, we have.、Uh, Fishing、uh, DVDs that you can buy. So,、uh, am I、uh, just behind here in technology?、Uh, even though I'm a, a, a pretty good tech guy, and、uh, is there anything like a DVD for、uh, playing darts uh, instruction uh, other than books? One of the problems with the DVD is usually of some other person who's throwing a perfectly styled dart. <laughs> Your problem is that you're not. So really, what you need to do is to go somewhere and take a DVD of yourself, and then put it up and criticize yourself, or get somebody who really knows the basic principles of darts. You know, the basic principles are very simple, but the methods of throwing darts are,、uh, are endless. So the method that you use, stand still on the line, is the first principle. If you have a firm base, and it's the only thing to move, then You are now leading towards being a competitive player. So, okay. Very good. Very good. That certainly is a different angle and approach to it. Okay. So, this is a wine. This is a Fabio. The the problem. We are just talking about is, do we have any digital things that can help us? For example, I ask him if he can buy a camera to learn to play Dan Fabio. So, Peter, the first time, he gave us a new way, a new way of doing it. He said, "Actually, we shouldn't buy a camera to play or buy a camera to play to see how to play. It's to buy it yourself." 咗嚟係點樣訂，然之後俾人哋去問，誒俾人去研究、指教，俾啲先生去睇啊。因為除咗你話最初企得定定，誒手定定，企方向好，放鬆，即係呢一啲嘢，其實你可以影咗，揾人影咗你自己，然之後你可以自拍都得嘅，揾三個架，咁然之後你就可以誒攞出嚟誒同大家研究，俾啲有經驗嘅人研究，指點話俾你聽，我邊度錯咗啊，邊度係跟進啊。咁先好嘅。Okay, uh, we almost uh, uh, up to our time on the segment two, so we need to go to our sponsors and programs and whatever, and we'll be back in another、uh, oh a few minutes. So、uh, we'll、uh, cut out for now. Thank you. Why 
语电台着数多，要卡在度冇错过。The Indian Chinese Radio Jet Talk Special， 飞镖运动除强身健体之余，仲可训练头脑，又可认识新朋友。由 Multi Cultural Dance Association 主办嘅飞镖训练班，现已接受报名。享誉国际嘅 Peter Scott 同飞镖詹士邦亲自教导，五堂课程包用具，只需五十蚊。报名及查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。Learn to play darts with Peter Scott and James Bong Faldas at Multicultural Darts Association. Five sessions equipment included, only fifty dollars. Please call four one six four nine six nine six three three for further details. 潮玩飞镖 ，All about us。诶，欢迎大家又翻到嚟我哋节目《潮玩飞镖》啊！我系你嘅 host， 阿 Robert Mark， 诶，仲有响呢度嘅就系当然系啊，我哋嘅詹士邦阿邦啦，系咪？仲有啊，阿 Peter、Peter Scott 啦，而同我哋一齐嘅就系我哋啊，响呢班雪省嘅诶嘉宾就系 Jeff Smith 啦。咁我哋之前都讲过各种各样啊 ，Jeff 嘅。誒經歷啊嘅成績啊咁樣，我哋而家繼續就誒 Peter 去進行一個訪問。Okay, Peter,、uh, maybe you pick up where you left off and carry on with Jeff and.、Uh... Yeah, I'm still、uh, interested in, in getting information from a real good seasoned dart player that's played on、uh, three continents there. And what we're looking at now is preparing yourself to go into a competition. What kind of practice do you use?、Uh, what kind of darts do you use? And、uh, how do you handle yourself in the tournament? And what is it like up there on the stage with the cameras cranking? The the listeners would be really interested in that type of of approach. So could you lead us through that? Yeah, no problem at all. The、uh, like I say, as far as tournament play, I, as far as my practice sessions, I always tend to、uh, really work on my finishing strong before I before I go into an event, which I'll usually lead in about a week to a week and a half in advance.、Uh, My favorite game that I play is I, I basically start at 121, and I have nine darts to finish it. If I've taken it out in the nine darts, I then advance to 122, and so on. Try to get to the 170 before、uh, before you miss. And、uh, if not, what I usually do is use like a banker system, is what I call it. If I take out a 137 on the first three darts, then I can't go beyond or back before that 137. So it,、uh, I find any any of the the games that revolve. Hitting them doubles, it's it's good, really going to help you in the tournament play. And what about the mental aspect of tournament play? I've seen, you know, the、uh, we have students here that play very well at practice, but when they get into a competition, you would think they were playing with the wrong hand. Yeah, I can definitely definitely vouch for that. It's it's one of those things that I had to learn as a as a player coming through as well. Uh, when I started off from the youth, I was used to winning everything, and then when I came back into the adults, it wasn't always the case. It really starts to play in your mind if you're actually good enough or not.、Uh, basically, you just have to keep throwing yourself in those situations where you、uh, where you have the chance to play and, and learn to adapt to them. Once you realize that if you just stay calm and, and stay within your game, you you do have the ability to to win. OK， 嗱，咁而家講到嘅就係誒，究竟比賽嘅時候有咩預備咧？有咩特別嘅方法咧？佢可以俾到 tips 我哋咧？佢話佢通常都由一百二十一分開始，用九支飛鏢嚟做標準，一路每一分一分一分咁一路玩落去，玩到一百七十啊！咁佢誒呢個都係個好嘅自我控制調節嘅方法嚟嘅。咁亦都係誒另外一樣嘢，佢講到咧就係、是。即係呢一個精神上嘅預備啦，一定要唔好緊張，要放鬆啦。咁呢啲都係一啲、呃、比較正常嘅諗法，亦都係唔係一啲好難嘅做法嚟嘅。So now, Bong, you are、uh, uh, Jeff. Can you tell the listeners who is your dart hero and、uh, your dart protege? Yeah, it, it would have to be John Part. Any any Canadian dart player should should have that same answer. 
what he's done from the, the time that he started and to where he's at now is is pretty much phenomenal. So, if, like I say, if you can if you can be mentioned in a in a sentence along with his name, you definitely have done something for your game. Uh, as far as protege, I, I have brought up Dawson Michelle from uh, he's from Alberta, but he's going to school here in St. John, New Brunswick. Uh, he's joined our team this year and uh, been working hard with him practice and whatnot, and he uh, he's really starting to show the results as well. I was surprised when he told me that uh, you are one of his. Uh mentors and I said uh, Dawson is from Alberta. How is the connection with Alberta and New Brunswick? I was surprised. Yeah, it's uh, like I say, we it started off with, uh, with a few Facebook conversations and text messages, but uh, Dawson enlisted in, into uh, university here in St. John's. So oh, now I want it. Yeah, now we have the op opportunity we can play pretty well weekly now. So. What, he's actually traveled down from Alberta to New, New Brunswick? Yeah, he's going to UNBSJ. And uh, let me clarify the other thing, uh, John Part, you have to pardon me, I don't know who John Part is, even though he's three times world champion. Uh, where's he from? Yeah, I believe he's from Oshawa. Uh, like I say, he spent uh, most of his time over in England, but he, yeah. he's been doing doing the uh, commuting, and uh, it's, like I say, it's definitely got to take a toll on the system doing what he's doing, but he sure is a, a hero to most Canadian dart players. I used to play with John Park many, many years ago when he used to play at a sports club just on the south uh, edge of uh, Oshawa. And uh, he wasn't as powerful a dart player as he is now, uh, but you could see the, the potential there, and he was working at it hard. Okay. Kyashongpaya, 但是原來他從最初聯絡的時候用免書啊,Facebook啊,或者打下text啊,但是最近呢,因為這個人落了來讀書啦,他也有開店了。And so we uh, and we now through with that part of the uh, explanation and uh, maybe uh, uh, who wants to ask the next question? Uh, Bong. You have been playing darts with uh, Jim uh, with Mayer in the States. Do you have a partnership with him all the time, playing doubles cricket and doubles 01? Yeah, I've, I've started playing with John or Jim probably about three or four years ago, I guess it was. We'd met down at the White Mountains in New Hampshire. I just started going down to the tournaments myself, played him in a final, and he asked me if we wanted to play a, a tournament, and that's pretty well been a, a doubles partnership ever since for any of the events that I go down there. You know, he's, he's fantastic to play with. Yeah, you've been very successful too. How many tournaments have you won? To be honest with you, I couldn't even tell you. We've won, we've won a lot of them. <laughs> what, as doubles? Isn't that nice to say that? <laughs> yeah, that's, that is a good thing. He's, he's definitely passed on his cricket knowledge to me. As a Canadian, we don't get to play that very often. So. That's right. So uh, let me get this. Uh, you team up with this fellow on uh, doubles? Yes. We and play, we and, play and his last name again? I didn't quite catch his last name. Jim? Yeah, Jim Whitmire. Oh, Whitmire. Whitmire. Okay. <laughs> Yes, and so he's American, right? Yes, he is. Yes, from Staten oh, and, Island. Oh, and where is he stationed, though? Yeah, he's from Staten Island in New York. Oh, Staten, Staten Island. Staten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And uh, so I take it from this conversation that you guys sort of um, win numerous tournaments uh, when you team up. Usually do. Yes, it's usually one of my uh, wow. my better financial choices to to play with him. Oh yeah. Well, you know, it's uh, something. Partnership is very uh, special, just like in business. You know, one is good at one thing, one is good at the other, and it's no different. Even though it's within a darts game, and maybe he can uh, shoot all the special uh, areas, and you can shoot all the other special areas, and it all adds up, right? Definitely. Like I say, but the way we play together, it's uh, we both complement each other's games. So. It becomes a, a very, very tough team to beat, for sure. Okay, 
，就成日去玩呢個雙打嘅，咁啊贏盡天下嘅喎。咁似乎呢個人就響 Staten Island， 即係紐約嗰度。咁佢哋兩個都成日練手，咁佢亦都好講笑咁話：如果我揾啲錢使下，我就揾佢一齊啊，去揾食下出去。你知唔知啊？即係贏翻啲，贏翻啲錦標賽翻嚟攞啲銀出嚟使。Okay,、uh, we have time probably for another quick question, and then、uh, we would have to switch over to the other segment. So, who wants to ask the next question? Jim,、uh, the, the readers and the listeners would be most interested in what kind of darts do you start off with, and did they progress in different weights or shapes or sizes as you went through your your dart career? Yeah, as as I started off, I always liked a、uh, fairly. Not not a heavy dart, but not a not a light dart either. I always like that 22, 23 gram area. Most of my darts that I've had in the past have all had a very smooth grip with a couple of knurls in them, just just to to hold them in the right position. But、uh, as far as my darts since I've been a youth right up until now, is fairly been similar. Like I say, obviously I'm using my own signature barrel from Cosmo, but、uh, and it was it was designed by Todd Bumgarner and from down in the U.S. as well. And we sent that off to Cosmo as a, as a prototype, and, and ever since I've been using these for about the last three years. So could that be considered kind of like a custom, customized、uh, set of darts that you're playing then? Yeah, it'd be. It's it's my own signature. Like I say, they're they're available for resale basically worldwide now. But、uh, it's it's something that I had made, and then and then that became my my personal dart for anyone to use. Oh, and then you obviously have a good bunch of followers, and then there will be money and sponsorship. That's what it's all about. You got it. Okay, let me、uh, just explain, and that would、uh, when I finish explaining, that be the end of this segment.、Uh, okay, 咁其实讲嚟讲去都系讲下佢诶飞镖啦。阿边个讲啊 ？Peter 就话啊，咁你用啲咩飞镖啊？咁佢介绍原来佢。自己用廿二至廿三克嘅飛鏢，同埋因為佢自己有改良咗飛鏢，佢亦都交俾佢嗰個、呃、支持贊助商嗰度、呃、出咗佢自己嘅行業嘅飛鏢，所以佢而家嘅飛鏢係、啊、可以買到嘅，可以好、啊、多人啊係用緊佢呢個飛鏢嘅，即係有二用等嘅。咁所以咧，佢亦都係誒，亦、啊、都變咗啲贊助商會繼續贊助佢去,去,、啊、去玩呢個飛鏢好啦，我哋講到呢度咧，又要誒去去廣告時間誒外邊其他，我哋一陣再翻嚟再同大家見面。華語電台著數多，要卡在手冇錯過。Can Indian Chinese Radio Jet to Go Special？ 飛鏢運動除強身健體之餘，仲可訓練頭腦，又可認識新朋友。由 Multicultural Dart Association 主办嘅飞镖训练班现已接受报名，享誉国际嘅 Peter Scott 同飞镖詹士邦亲自教导，五堂课程包用具只需五十蚊。报名及查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。Learn to play darts with Peter Scott and James Bong Faldas at Multicultural Darts Association. Five sessions equipment included, only fifty dollars. Please call four one six four nine six nine six three three for further details. Just to check, 申請及查詢電話四一六四九六九六三三。華語電台著書多，一卡制手，冇錯過。潮玩飛鏢 ，All about darts。Welcome back to our、uh, segment four of our show here, and uh, it's uh, time once again uh, uh, for uh, darts updates.、Uh, I'm your host Robert, and、uh, Bong and、uh, Peter are here. And、uh, let's Bong give us an update、uh, before we get back to our guest、uh, Jeff Smith today. April eleven Saturday, Open Doubles Dart Tournament. Registration ten a.m. ten forty-five a.m. Entry fee is forty dollars for doubles, ten dollars for singles. Limited to twenty-two teams only. Venue is at Peterborough Scottish Club, Peterborough, Ontario. Pre-registration is required. Contact 
G O B R I E N 27 at hotmail.com or call 705-768-6327. Cảm ơn các bạn. Hôm nay là ngày 4 tháng 6 năm nay. Có một cái công khai sáng tạo về phí biểu tỷ trại. Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi và hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn. 項目咧就係誒雙打係四十蚊，單打係十蚊，咁只係廿二對啫。咁誒喺邊度咧？就喺 Peterborough 嘅 Scottish Cup 嗰度，就喺 Peterborough Ontario。咁誒、呃、一定要需要預早註冊。咁邊個去 contact 邊個咧？就係、是、J O'Brien 啦，一個字 O J O B R I E N 廿七 at hotmail.com 或者電話七零七六八六三二七。Sunday, April 12, fundraiser for Steve Well、uh, Wellcox World Master Event, British Darts Organisation in Hall, England. Events: silent auction, live auction, door prizes. Come and meet, support North America's number one ranked youth player from a small town of Park Hill, Ontario. Tickets is only twenty-five dollars, includes meal. Park Hill Royal Canadian Legion, 200 Broad Street, Park Hill, Ontario. 嗱，咁喺禮拜日咧，四月十二號嘅時候咧，我哋就一個籌款啊，籌款就係我哋以前都講過喺你嘅節目嗰度，就係一個 Steve Wilcox 嘅，佢係參加呢個世界冠軍比賽，就喺英國科嘅地方。咁誒，咁呢個有咩做咧？就係一個 silent 嘅 auction 啦，即係嚇，即係競投啦。咁有一個 live auction 啦，又有誒派獎入門入啦入門獎品啦。咁誒、呃、你要見一見呢個全加拿大第一嘅後生青年嘅誒，標標加就係去呢、這個誒省、呃、叫柏協啦 ，Ontario 就廿五蚊一張飛有得食。誒、呃、呢、這個柏協 Royal Canadian Legion 二百號 Broad Street 柏協 Ontario。Congratulations to a 2015 Team Ontario Youth Team. Stephanie McKenney, Emma Shatkovsky, Latrisa Chernyak, Mackenzie Kingsmill, Travis Mampasi, Dylan Wall, Denver Jones, Michael De Groot, 2015 Darts Ontario Youth Provincial Championships held at Saint Catharines, Ontario. Congratulations also to our 2015 top Canadians, Dave Cameron, Jeff Smith for men's. Maria Mason, Joanne Luke for ladies, Steve Wilcox, Youth for the boys, Kayla Thompson and Raina Burke for Youth Girls. 誒咁跟住咧，佢就誒宣布咗一系列嘅得獎者啊！誒今年即係響 Saint Catherine's 嗰個大賽嗰度啦，咁就係會有呢個誒有一個誒安省嘅青年隊啦，同埋有一個。加拿大嘅代表加拿大嘅隊伍啦，咁其中呢個 Stephen Wilcox 亦都係其中一個啦。咁呢個詳細嘅隊伍嘅系列咧，我哋啱喺英文嗰度已經講過啦。咁我哋亦都唔需要再詳細喺呢度講啦。你聽一聽誒，以前早二十秒鐘前嘅對白就得啦。All about darts is a project of Multicultural Dart Association, a registered not-for-profit organization. Which aims to promote darts as a sport and darts players in both soft tip and steel tip darts globally. MDA has experienced in-house darts mentors, themselves darts champions. Training sessions at MDA Monday to Friday at 6 p.m. Membership fee is only fifty dollars for the whole year. Contact six four seven nine nine seven zero eight zero eight for Chinese language. Six four seven seven one two five two 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 for English language. 好啦，咁仲有我哋當然會自己推推，就係我哋呢個多元文化飛鏢協會啦。咁多元文化飛鏢協會咧，就係誒不謀利嘅組織，亦都係推廣呢個飛鏢作為一種運動嘅。咁亦都係會做呢個軟軟貼同埋硬貼嘅。咁啊，我哋多元文化飛鏢協會咧。就係、是、有自己有兩個嚇大國手喺度啦，咁你就可以嚟呢度玩嚇，亦都可以做一個做一個訓練嘅。咁禮拜一至禮拜五六點鐘，咁佢嘅會員費咧係五十蚊一年
，你可以打電話六四七九九七零八零八，係中文六四七車二五二二係英文嘅。OK， and then we are now back to the regular programming and continue interview of Jeff Smith, our guest today. So,、um, okay, so let、uh, let Dong take a rest and let Peter carry on. Jeff, you have a unique experience in both the UK darts and the Canadian darts, and also down in the States. What I'd like you to do is that、uh, you play the same games in each、uh, each arena, and、uh, what's the attitude of the players there? And、uh, tell me, are the players as good in each、uh, in each location? And the other thing too is that the、uh, the equipment they use is there any difference? So those are the things. They're quite、uh, interesting conversations and、uh, to to speak on. So do your best and try that one. Yeah, like I say, I started I started out as a player, obviously playing Canadian events.、Uh, we have our our own way of doing things, I guess, compared to the rest of the world.、Uh, basically, most most events that you play within the NDFC, you play a round robin format and then advance into a knockout. Where if you play a tournament in the U.S. or over in the U.K., it's Basically, it's pretty much knockout right from the get-go. Like I say, as far as Canadian goes, you're going to play a ton of games. But、uh, like I say, it's more of a camaraderie ship. Like I say, that everybody gets along.、Uh, very friendly people, especially depending on where you're, which part of Canada you're in. But、uh, East Coast, where I'm from, you won't won't meet nicer people to play against.、Uh, as far as the tournaments in the states, like I say, you tend to play for、uh, compared to Canada, you play for more money. But the、uh, the format is so much more cutthroat because it's it's less games that you play.、Uh, many of the events that they play down there are best of three, where here once you hit your knockout rounds, you're minimum best of five. So,、uh, like I say, you just you just kind of have to put your head down and and be ready to go every game. And the Eng- England version of the of the game, the、uh, the caliber is so much higher on a consistent level than what they are over here. So it's you've you've got to be. Prepared and mentally as well as, as physically, we're ready to go. As far as it, like I say, is to compare the three. As far as number one, you know, England would be ranked number one by far, as far as the caliber of the game. But、uh, as far as the people, I've met great people in in all three countries, and I wouldn't say anything bad about any of them. That's that's pretty well the best outlook that I could if, could give as far as that goes. Uh, Equipment-wise, equipment is pretty much standard worldwide now. Like I say, with with the ability to buy buy your products and whatnot online, your your, your equipment, the boards, the darts, everything has gotten better over the years. So it's everybody's pretty much benefiting from that now. I、uh, kind of expected、uh, what you're saying there about the UK people. I mean, there's obviously a bigger pool of people in Europe, and、uh, they're closer to go to UK. And when you select. All these people from a bigger pool of people, they're obviously a higher gen- general caliber of people playing. That's、uh, obvious logic. But I think、um, you know, so far I think Canada speaks well for itself,、uh, from what I、uh, gather from everything. And、uh, as you also say, the U.S. got the most money, right? So uh, let me uh, maybe uh, before I cut over to the other language,、uh, maybe we could、uh, now say goodbye to uh, Jeff. Uh, unless uh, Peter got a quick question or two. Well, the only thing that、uh, I have is I've enjoyed the interview. It's been a real,、uh, you know, relevant interview, and you've been really honest with us and told us just like it is. And I'm sure it'll be a great help to the younger player and also the, the aspiring pro players out there. And we thank you, Jeff Smith. The silencer for your time, your courtesy, and you're still a nice guy. I appreciate that. Be glad to come back anytime. Okay, thanks,、uh, Jeff. Okay, and、uh, yeah, 其實我哋誒啱啱講完嘅就係話呢個誒究竟有咩大分別咧？加拿大、美國同埋英國。咁總之嚟講，誒英國嘅。佢哋嗰啲人嘅水準係高好多嘅，我都話誒，因為佢喺歐洲度有好多好多人訂飛票啦，咁由咁多人之中挑選，一定係誒會競爭激烈，會好多嘅。咁誒同埋咧，佢再講就係美國嘅獎金多啦，咁啊比較多啦嚇，咁係因為有錢啲嚇，啲人可以出多啲錢。咁但係如果講到最後嗰、那個誒、呃、飛票本身嗰、那個。
，究竟會非標準差咩大分別咧？係冇咩大分別嘅、啊，因為而家大大個個都喺網上買嘢啊嚇。咁啊，至於話、啊、人類嘅嗰啲人嘅分別咧，亦都唔大喎、啊。即係即係人同人嘅關係，大家都係玩非標嘅時候咧，都係大家一個同志嚟嘅，亦都係冇咩好大嘅分別。咁我哋多謝今日阿 Jeff、uh, Smith 嚟接受我哋訪問 ，and、uh, I, I, I think it has been a productive、uh, interview with a champion like Jeff and、uh, today, and、uh, we're now getting to the、uh, end of our segment, and、uh, we have to、uh, meet other people on the next round. So, uh, 多谢各位诶、uh, 今晚就再收听我哋潮玩飞镖嘅节目。我哋而家又到咗一段落啦，到咗第四段嘅最后阶段啦。咁我下次再再同各位再再会。OK， 欢迎你收听潮玩飞镖。T Juan Fabio， thank, thank you very much。华语电台着数多 ，Jet Talk 着数冇错过。Canadian Chinese Radio Jet Talk Special， 飞镖运动除强身健体之余，仲可训练头脑，又可认识新朋友。由 Multicultural Jet Association 主办嘅飞镖训练班，现已接受报名，享誉国际嘅 Peter Scott 同飞镖詹士邦亲自教导。五堂課程包用具只需五十蚊，报名及查询电话四一六四九六九六三三。Learn to play darts with Peter Scott and James Bong Faldas at Multicultural Darts Association. Five sessions equipment included, only fifty dollars. Please call four one six four nine six nine six three three for further details. 一早他申請及查詢電話：四一六四九六九六三三。華語電台著書包，一刻製造冇錯過。